Hi guys, I've listed this video under the heading of Quality Audio FM Transmitter as uh, that's how this circuit was described by the uh, hobbyist electronic magazine Everyday Electronics. I haven't seen the magazine article and when I did an internet search I couldn't find any images other than the circuit diagram so this is my interpretation of that circuit. Now I've made some changes simply because uh, I guess my circuit layout is different to the uh, magazine article's uh, original layout. But I thought the uh, title would be useful just in case there's anybody else looking for the quality audio FM transmitter. So uh, let's hope this helps you. The original circuit shows two transistors. The first transistor is the uh, VHF oscillator that's modulated by the uh, input audio signal and the second transistor is a class A power amplifier. I've added a third transistor that acts as a level detector uh, for the antenna tuning section and it simply lights an LED. It's uh, a little bit like tuning for maximum smoke. It just uh, gives some idea of the, uh, the actual output level. You can see I've chosen to uh, use this method of construction where I cut the little pads on the circuit board. I find it makes a very stable RF platform. I've only made a couple of changes to the circuit. Uh, again, because of the very low stray inductance and stray capacitance that I get with this uh, sort of uh, circuit board, I've made the uh, VHF tuning coil uh, a lot smaller than uh, they originally specified. The original circuit calls for five turns with a five millimeter ID. I've reduced that down to five turns with a three millimeter ID. And I've added an additional 33 picofarads across the tuning capacitor. The VHF tuning coil is the copper colored one and the second stage is inductively coupled and that's via those two red turns that are immediately adjacent. I've built this transmitter so as I can connect it to uh, my TV set uh, via a SCART connection or to a stereo hi-fi and uh, this unit has a stereo input, it comes into the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack plug that's the black uh, box on the left hand side of the screen and then uh, the signal is simply combined via those two 33k resistors and that's capacitively coupled to the base of the first transistor and that's the VHF oscillator. The yellow control at the top left hand side is a tone control and the 100R uh, potentiometer in the bottom uh, left hand side is a power level control. The transmitter's frequency is controlled by that uh, green trimmer at top center of the image that's a 22 picofarad uh, trimmer and I've uh, boosted that with a 33 picofarad uh, ceramic underneath and that works in conjunction with the gold section of coil and uh, say so that frequency is modulated by the audio. The modulated VHF signal is inductively coupled to those two uh, red turns and that's fed onto the base of the what's called the power transistor uh, not that there's much power involved with this thing and that goes off to the antenna tuning system. 
The output stage comprises of those three red coils, the uh, transistor to the uh, right of center and the antenna tuning capacitor is the uh, large one on the right there, that little trimmer. That's a 65 picofarad capacitor. Um, originally it was specified as 22 picofarads but I changed it and then uh, finally that transistor in the right hand side is uh, the level detector that uh, looks at the output on the antenna and uh, so it affects the brilliance of the LED um, so as I tune the antenna so you'll see later on uh, the uh, brilliance of the LED is uh, affected subject to a good antenna match. This is the circuit diagram that I used for building the unit and uh, you can see that across the top of the page and then in the middle of the page on the right hand side you'll see the um, antenna tuning indicator and uh, I actually used a PN2222A NPN transistor there um, but it's uh, it, it, it's essentially just uh, uh, a transistor coupled to the antenna with a, a 10 picofarad uh, capacitor and uh, there's a 270 ohm resistor to, to ground there um, and it, it, it seems to work quite well um, I made a note there that when the battery was at 8.2 volts I will pulling uh, 45 milliamps and on the bottom left hand side you'll see that's my layout as uh, probably a few extra pads uh, being drilled uh, on the uh, board because uh, I think I made some mistakes but um, that's uh, that's my very uh, messy uh, working out and uh, the uh, line right in the middle is a couple of options I was looking at for other layouts but it was uh, it's going to get very long so I uh, made it a little narrower and uh, worked on the uh, the bottom left hand side uh, type layout okay uh, what I've got here is the, uh, the little uh, transmitter I've got an mp3 player that will uh, be putting out uh, that uh, jingle jangle music so uh, I'll get the tripod set up in a minute. So it's uh, running off a 9 volt battery, a little, little uh, aerial there, just a little bit of wire. That's uh, that's the end of it there, so no surprises. And I've got a little radio here. And the radio is tuned to... Uh, so uh, um, around... Um, 97 uh, megahertz. That's the radio, and if we switch the transmitter on, so that music now you're hearing through there, and uh, the transmitter if we. So that's the antenna tuner. And all I'm doing is adjusting for maximum brilliance. Um, so it's, I guess it's like we used to say, tuning for maximum smoke. And then the actual frequency is this pot.
and you see how that's varies with Queen Elizabeth from student prince. No, I'm sorry, the vagabond king. This music was dedicated to the king of Jack. So we'll just take the radio head side and we'll we'll go to stay in there somewhere. Okay, we're in the greenhouse now. That's, that's one of Sophia's dituras. I haven't seen that before. Um, <laughs> uh, so, what I want to be able to do is retransmit the um, uh, TV signal um, so as I can listen to it anywhere around the house. And that way, I can be playing uh, a DVD or a tape on the television, and uh, I can uh, have the the signal wherever I want it. So I can be out here in the in the garden enjoying the view and um, maybe enjoying um, a cinema soundtrack uh, that I like. Anyway, hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Sometimes in order to get the effects I want I have to do some unusual things. And to get these shots I fix my tripod to the ceiling. And here you can see my uh, little uh, video camera on the spherical mount and uh, that's the transmitter sat on top of that uh, plastic drum. And this is typical of the sort of shots that I get. I haven't necessarily synchronized uh, both videos uh, here. But uh, anyway, it's a bit of fun and uh, I have a lot of fun with the uh, with the radio, the photography, and uh, with the uh, the editing. So uh, again, I hope you found this interesting. Um, always welcome feedback. It's nice to know that uh, what I'm doing is at least being looked at and uh, hopefully appreciated. So um, uh, all the best. Bye bye.